Welcome to InfoTrend on YouTube. In this video, we're going to talk about InfoTrend's Eon NAS Remote Replication function. Why use remote replication? In a non-remote replication scenario, Site A data is not remote replicated to Site B. Should an unforeseen incident occur and result in complete data lost at Site A, the data may be lost forever. However, in a remote replication scenario, Site A data is remote replicated to Site B. Should an unforeseen incident occur and result in complete data lost at Site A, the data may be recovered from Site B. InfoTrend's Eon NAS remote replication has the following features. It's R-Sync based, meaning that it can replicate to another Eon NAS or third-party device. Its replication method is folder to folder. Its replication data can be encrypted during transmission, and users may schedule differential updates. Now let's take a look at how remote replication can be set up between two Eon NAS systems. To set up remote replication, you'll need a source and a target. Log into the NAS source system, preferably with an administrative account. Log into the target NAS system, also preferably with administrative account. Going back to the source NAS system, you can see that there's a share folder called RRDemo. And in the target NAS system, you could see there's a share folder called Backup. For demonstration purposes, we're going to open up two file explorers, one for the source NAS system that has a folder RRDemo, and the other with the target NAS system with the folder called Backup. To demonstrate the remote replication function, I've used a notepad file and named it demo. Let's open the file and type in rrdemo and save it. Drag and drop the file into the source NAS systems folder. Now go to Source NAS System's user interface and go to its backup menu. Click on Remote Replication and click on Add. The Remote Replication settings window will appear. First, you need to set up the backup source. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Select Folder option, which is the RR Demo folder. Second, you need to set up the target. You can select the type of target, Eon NAS, or third-party rsync servers. You can choose to enable encryption for extra security. Enter the IP address of the target system. Enter the target system's username and password, and preferably with administrative rights. The backup directory name will be backup in our case. Or if you choose to enter a directory or folder name that does not exist, the system will create it for you during the remote replication process. The last setup process is schedule. You may choose to backup daily, weekly, or in our case, customize. You can give it a task folder name and description. The starting time can be set for daily, weekly, or monthly. Click on Next and click OK. A 
a confirmation window will appear. If you look in the target backup folder in File Explorer, you should see the backup folder created during the remote replication process. Users may go to the log menu to check for remote replication task records. The log will show when a remote replication task was created, executed, and completed. Look in the target NAS system's backup folder. You will see the RR demo file has been successfully remotely replicated. Now assuming an unforeseen incident has occurred and source NAS system's data have been lost. We'll delete the source RR demo file manually to simulate this. Now we're going to try and recover the lost data from the target NAS system with the remote replicated data. Go to the source NAS system's user interface and go to the remote replication menu. Click on the restore button. A confirmation window will appear once the data has been restored. Go to the source NAS file explorer and confirm that the RR demo file has indeed been restored. Remember when NAS systems are set up and prepped for action, the remote replication status should show ready. This concludes our remote replication demonstration. Thank you for watching.